today we want to do a video about winter driving tips and some things that you should have on your vehicle in case of emergencies and bad weather. Um, it's, we wanted to do this video because it, we're getting into the winter months now, we're getting into that season where there's already a lot of places that are already having snow and ice and of course being out here on the road we never know when, when we're going to be going into those places. So we just kind of want to talk about those things. And we know a lot of you veteran drivers already know this, but we really wanted to do this because I know a lot of new drivers, they don't have any idea about driving in winter conditions. They've never done it before. So, or have very rarely ever done it. And we just want you to be prepared with some things to know. So the first tip uh, we have would probably be the one of the most obvious is slowing down and you you definitely want to slow down to what a safe and comfortable speed for you you know um, there's been times where it's been so bad where we've been down to 20 30 miles an hour so that's probably the the biggest and most important thing is just slowing down to the conditions another thing is you you want to you want to leave a lot of extra room so and and another thing that i like to do is when i'm going slow in the right lane and i see vehicles passing me on the left or getting ready to pass me i will slow down even more so they can go ahead and pass and get back over into the the travel lane if you maintain your speed and they're trying to pass you at two three miles an hour more faster than what you're going it leaves a lot of room for an accident if he loses control uh, he could uh, sideswipe right into you so that's one thing I like to do a lot is just sl uh, I'll slow down even another five miles an hour until they go ahead and pass and then once they're at a, a safe distance up ahead I'll, I'll pick pick my speed back up to what's comfortable for me so the next thing is kind of along the same lines as what Jason is talking about, and it's don't travel in packs. Um, if you ever notice out on the highway, a lot of times the cars will be in bunches or packs growing down the highway. In bad icy weather, snowy weather, inclement weather, you don't want to travel in packs. You want to increase the distance around your vehicle to minimize any accidents. You may be fine driving, but that car next to you may lose control and you don't want to be right there if they lose control and slam into your car same thing up ahead and behind so don't travel in packs if you can avoid it try to get around it and then a safe distance and to where you feel comfortable i think that's a great tip for all the time you know not just in uh, winter weather also yeah you know because you never know what other vehicles will do you know um keeping a staying out of the packs really minimizes your chance of being in an accident and um, we drive 62 miles an hour, so very rarely are we ever caught in, in the pack of uh, highway traffic. Another thing is to be aware of what other cars and trucks are doing during the inclement weather. You know, if you're traveling down the highway and you're flying past 18 wheeler after 18 wheeler, oh, there's a reason that they're going very slow. So you want to kind of be in tune to that. Chances are they're going slow because it's pretty slippery. So you want to slow it down, you know, kind of take your cue from the other vehicles. If you're seeing a lot of tractor trailers or cars in the ditches on the roads, probably means the roads are pretty slippery. So along that same lines, you want to watch, but you don't want to follow them either. You know, if, if it's snowing really bad, a lot of times you can't see. So you want to slow it down, but you don't want to be able to see the taillights of the person in front of you that, that clearly, because that means you're driving too closely if it's snowing really hard. So you want to back off and just keep your distance and kind of, you know, be aware of your surroundings. So an another thing to really uh, be careful of is your acceleration and braking. Um, these are things you want to do with a very light foot. When slowing down, um, you want to really gently touch the brakes. Um, no uh, sudden uh, hitting on the, slamming on the brakes or, and accelerating also. When, you, when your truck's up sh uh, upshifting, it, it could cause uh, your truck to slip a little bit in the back. So you want to do that really slow. Even if you're like in a, an automatic truck, maybe uh, put it in manual and do the shifts yourself 
instead of letting the, uh, the truck do it. Um, and another thing you don't want to use is your engine brake. The engine brake can cause the truck to slow down very quickly and that that slowing down really quickly could cause uh, your rear axle to start sliding and you lose control. Um, and another thing is if you do start to lose control don't hit the brakes. That is the absolute worst thing you can do is hit the brakes. You just want to take your foot off of uh, both pedals. Don't don't hit any of the pedals and just try to steer your way back into it. No sudden steering wheel turns either. Just gradually turn, you know. Um, that could help you uh, get out of a slide. Next thing you want to try to avoid when driving in, especially blinding snow or really bad snow, is try not to stop on the shoulder. Um, if, you're, you know, if your truck's breaking down, try to get safely off of the highway and not park on the shoulder. Reason being, because in, in those bad snowing conditions, is other drivers can mistake you for being in, in a lane on the highway and they could accidentally slam into the back of you when you're stopped on the, on the shoulder or side of the road. So try to get off the highway if possible. And if not, if it's unavoidable, just try to get over as much as possible, but also be careful because you don't want to go off the road and get stuck or get stuck in a ditch. So be very cautious when having to stop on the side of the road. Try to avoid it if at all possible. The next thing is pre-trips. Um, we do those every day out here on the road, but you really want, there's a few other things that you want to add um, to doing uh, during freezing temperatures. Um, getting a good windshield washer that doesn't freeze on you, and sometimes they sell some that actually de-ice the ice on your windshield. So it's a little bit expensive, but I think well worth it. Um, and, and another thing is draining your air tanks. If your air brakes, if your airlines have water in them and they freeze, that could stop your brakes from working. So you always want to make sure you drain any uh, air and try to get any water out of the airlines uh, if you're going up into freezing temperatures because you don't want those freezing up on you. Another good tip is to try to keep your fuel tanks full and topped off. That extra weight will help with traction in icy conditions. And not only that, if you know, if you do break down or you're stuck in a situation where traffic is stopped for hours, you want to make sure that you do have enough fuel to either run your generator or run your truck or vehicle so that you have heat in that situation. Also, if, if you get in a snowstorm, say you're sitting waiting on your next load yeah. and a, snow, a really bad snowstorm comes through, um, you want to have enough diesel fuel to run the generator. You want to have heat, you want to be able to keep warm, um, that generator will help you do that and having enough fuel is important, you know. We usually try to keep it above half a tank um, whenever it, it, it going up into winter conditions, whereas other times, summer or spring, fall, we'll uh, run it down to about a quarter tank. So yeah, keeping it at least above a half a tank I think will really help. Uh, never let it get below half a tank. Yeah, that's a really good tip. Also, keep your 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 lights, your box lights, all your lights on your vehicle clean and free of snow buildup if possible. You know, every time when you're stopping to do your safety check, that's an extra step to take. You know, clean off your headlights, clean your tail lights, clean what box lights you can get to because that just increases your visibility for other people out on the road too. So make sure that you clean those off and keep them clean of snow and debris. Yeah, and especially with LED lights. If your truck has LED lights, those don't put off a lot of heat, so they're not going to melt the snow for you. Whereas halogen lights would be pretty warm. They would uh, t start to melt. melt down the snow and ice or anything built up around it. So, so finally, the last thing that we want to recommend is if you don't feel safe driving in it, pull off the road. If you see trucks on the side of the road, flipped over, vehicles off the side of the road, maybe it's time to go ahead and pull over and wait until road crews can get to the roads and get them cleaned up some. Um, never feel that you have to get the load covered. 
uh, safety is most important. If you crash, the load's not getting going to get there on time anyway. So, and, and then somebody might get hurt. Never, never feel that you have to meet the deadline in bad win winter conditions. Yeah, if you don't feel safe, pull over. Pull that, over. That's the key to that, though, is if you are on a load, communicate with your dispatch. Let your dispatch know what you're doing, and they're going to be fine with that. There should be no dispatcher or dispatch that disagrees with you doing that. Only you know what the conditions are and what you're driving in. And, and don't let them pressure you either. No. Uh, we've never had that problem with Panther. No. Panther has always been really good at that. If it's too bad for what we think is uh, unsafe, they we just communicate with them. Um, we stay and watch the weather, watch the, watch the road, see if it gets better, and we communicate with them when we're back on the road. So we've never had that problem, but I would not doubt it's happened out there before where dispatchers will try to pressure you to keep going. If you're not comfortable, don't drive it. Don't do it. Yep. Don't do it. Last thing I want to talk about real quickly is just kind of a list of things or suggested things to keep in your vehicle with you so that you do have it in the winter months. The first thing is going to be blanket or sleeping bag. You want to have those things in case you are broken down, you don't have heat, you want to have that extra blankets to keep warm on your vehicle. Water and food. You, again, if you're stranded, you want to have water and food with you on your vehicle. Extra clothing. You want to have that extra clothing with you in case, again, you are stranded in your vehicle. Winter jackets, beanies, snow boots. Hand warmers. You can get them at Walmart. They're really inexpensive. They're a little package you can put in, hold them in your hands, put in your gloves. You can also put them in your socks. They're going to keep your uh, feet and hands warm. A first aid kit and now you could go buy one already made or like Jason and I I don't have a, a just an already made first aid kit but I we do have peroxide band-aids neosporin just a few essentials that you would want to have on your truck in case of any emergency flashlights with extra batteries you know if you don't have any power and it's dark out or you have to get out of your vehicle um, to do something, you want to have a flashlight and you want to have those extra batteries too for that flashlight. Reflector triangles. If you are broken down, you want to use those reflector triangles, put those out so that other vehicles know that you are broke down and they know to get over and get out of the way. Jumper cables. You know, um, if your, your truck or your vehicle won't start, you may be able to get a jump from somebody and if you have the jumper cable cables, it's easier to do that because some people don't carry them. Tools, keep even just the basic tools on your vehicle to where if you do need to do some repairs to get yourself back on the road, you can do that. Tow strap or a tow chain in case, you know, you get stranded in some snow, you can have that tow chain. There's possibility somebody could pull you out. Along with that, if you're a truck, you want to have snow chains. If you're going to be going into the states that require you to have those in the winter months. Ice scraper is good to have in case, you know, you've got some ice on your windshield. You can scrape that off with the ice scraper, get that ice off quicker than just letting your defroster do it for you. Fuel additives for diesel, diesel vehicles, you want to have fuel additives like cows for cold weather. If you don't want your fuel gelling up on you in extra cold weather. And so you stock up on that. Keep a couple bottles extra. on hand because there's been a few winters where we were went to a truck stop to get some and they were sold out. Yeah. Completely sold out. So yeah, always keep a couple bottles with you. Yeah. You could keep a bag of sand or kitty litter with you. That'll help, you know, if you get stuck in some snow or mud, it'll kind of help with some traction. A battery powered radio and paper maps. Um, if you know if you're stranded somewhere, you don't have access, your vehicle's not on, you have that battery powered radio to um, help you get the weather alerts, weather conditions. I mean, most people these days have cell phones and you can usually get it on your cell phone. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I, you know, that's just kind of like an old school thing. Same thing with the maps, but say the weather is so bad that there is no internet connection or the cell towers are down. That is a possibility and some severe icing and, and things like that. So 
that's just a few things to keep on hand. Anybody else has any other tips that we may not have touched on? Leave it down in the comment section for other folks as well. We hope that helps with some winter driving tips and some things to have on your vehicle during the winter months. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Find us on Facebook, Instagram. You can always email us. If you are in these winter conditions, be safe. We hope to see you all out on the road. Take care until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Let me rock you. Let me rock you. Shaka Khan. Woo, woo. Woo, woo.